here, that bit's rather unformed. And then there's the sort of end bit. What you call fame I call it pollution What you believe Is gonna kill us all If Jesus was around today Destroy him anyway. Sometimes my heart could burn. The Nazis got their first. out of tune by the end of that. I think the sense of the song comes first. I mean, occasionally I will write words first if I simply can't make any music, with the most obvious thing being either in the middle of the night or on planes or trains, so you're captive with the paper. And, um, and I have made up quite a few songs written, you know, where, where the words are like, come down first, come out first. And then it's a matter of picking up the guitar and sort of humming along, you know. But they, they're usually pretty structured and they've got rhyming verses because they've had to be written to an obvious meter in the head, a rhyme, whereas if, you're make, if you've got the guitar with you, you might make up a number of lines of different length and you're, not, you're much freer to, to have a more interesting structure to the song, I suppose. Well, the, the, best, the best way to write a song is actually to have just written another one. They, I mean, like a lot of things, it seems like the more you do, the more you can do. Um, <laughs> like drinking, you know, there's no such thing as one glass of wine. I mean, not to a drinker, anyway. And, um, you know, something I'm really unfamiliar with, something like athletics, you know, you're, you're in training or you're not doing it at all. Um, so, if I haven't written a song for three months, it'll be quite hard to write one. But if I've already made up one that morning, uh, something else may just pop into my head and yeah, definitely. I mean, the most recent things, I think I did, I sort of did one every day on the roof for a week or whatever, so the chances are we'll record three of them and one of them will be quite good. Then the game is really whether you've got enough hindsight to say, well, these are fine, but they're not actually, none of them is really worth putting on a record. Somebody like Nick Lowe will do that, you know, he's, he's got the patience to, to sort of discard stuff he's finished and say, OK, I'll wait till I've, you know, Nick is currently waiting for three more top draw songs to enter his head and you know, then he'll write them. Um, I'm more indiscriminate. I just write the stuff and record it with whoever I can get hold of almost instantly. And then 10 years later, I find out which were the three best songs from that album, you know. Uh, I mean, if I'd released a fifth of what I've recorded, I think I would be a much better songwriter, at least in the eyes of other songwriters, you know. But I, I dare say they all feel like that, you know. Yeah. Andy Partridge might feel like that. But, um, but the nuggets are in there. The nuggets are in there. Well, I suppose you're, you know, on my job and, and, the, and then for, and then the job of those around me is to sort of get the nuggets out to everybody's ears so they don't just have to hear the, the dross or the shale to go with it, you know. <laughs> Sailor from paradise 
sailor from Spain, sailor of ecstasy grown in your veins. We are internal, we travel nowhere. Back to the zero of John. and fishing for bones everywhere This is the moment of John in the air Well I know I'll take that half of the verse out I would go hunting if I on the bob of young John in the air John in the air John in the air So that's very simple, it's just the same three chords and the voices can float round it doing sort of harmonies but without hearing each other but I know I mean I've got six verses and I'm gonna keep two and a half of them you must have seen it coming a long long time ago ship of all your feelings shipwrecked in one go what do you think about at night when the river comes in must have seen it coming You must have bit your lip Fast the red light Then the green light Then the whole damn ship What do you think about? Night when the river comes in. Does it make you cry? On the verge, star of Venus. I'm really not sure about the chorus there at all. It could be, you know. Uh, the got extra hair. The star of The motorcade is waiting. It's waited all your life The driver's dead His bony arms 
around the bones of his wife, and that's true love. You still got the radio on. Does it make you cry under the star, under the star of Venus? Mm, I don't know. I like the verse, but I'm not sure about the chorus, so that's something we've got to sort out. It spends a lot of time on one chord. It's always a sign of confidence. If you don't jump around too much, it sort of lets people know you mean it. Yeah. And you sort of think, OK, so when's, when's he going to change chord? And um, so the secret is probably to just put as few chords in as possible. So with that, you get to the fifth, the sort of bit where in 12-bar blueses, it always resolves itself. You know? The punchline will come from there, and the blues as it always does, you know. So then, whether you just go back to the main chord, or... I put that, that sort of Layla chord in there, but that might be a bit nightclubby. I don't know. I thought it might be a bit Steely Dan, so I, I asked Nick Lowe, but he said it wasn't. So. Well, I got good people to consult, that's the thing. <laughs> I'm getting a, a, an expert team of consultants together to run things by. Uh, now this one is really unformed, but... It's a downbeat, the beat comes down and Rides the monarch out of town, the crazy car, the big maroon. The spider hangs across the moon. The horror awaits, he's in his prime. The one thing that he has is time. The sun shines down, I'm getting ripe, and pretty soon I'll be your type. I'm gonna see you in the afterlight. I'm gonna see you in the afterlight. I'm gonna see you in the afterlife or oh, light. I haven't made up my mind which. I obviously don't quite know what I'm trying to say yet, but it's, I'll just see what, you know, if it comes through, it'll work. And if the song just perishes, then it obviously wasn't a strong enough signal to make it worth transmitting. Love with someone who is just a little off from you. The difference makes you oscillate, the distance makes you feel great, the distance makes you concentrate. You wait forever to succumb, and when you do well, bite that plum, you'll. 
get at least a half an hour now. Blow on me, you wilted flower. I'm gonna see you in the afterlife. I'm gonna see you in the afterlife. I'm from this world, I look like it. I lean above the parapet. I'm full of meat and sprung on bone. I just can't leave that flesh alone. See, already there's a lot of words, and I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna sing all of these because I'll, I'll just try and keep the best two verses and or something. But that starts off. It's like one of those uh, Johnny, Dylan singing like Johnny Cash in the Basement tapes. That's it. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's Tell everybody down in old Frisco, and tell them Tiny Montgomery says hello. So I've just changed the beat, and that's it. But you know, Dylan adapted stuff all the time. 